by the door, okay? Sage! We found the thing. There's no money in it. Alright, um, you take another sweep. Check back out. Okay, I got it. Andrew, the search team found your boat. There was no sign of your wife or stepdaughter. It's 150 miles from the dam to the Canadian border. Can you think of any reason why they would have gone out in the middle of the night during a storm? I'm here to talk to you. Please, Andrew, come down. I can do this. Everything between you and Stephanie, everything okay? No fights or arguments? <laughs> stop, stop, please, I promise. He left you. He left Sage. I've been here. I've taken care of you. Why do you make me do this? <laughs> Mommy! What about Sage, your stepdaughter? She's great. What about her father? What about him? Any contact? Her father left her before she was even born. I've been here for her for most of her life. I'm the only father she ever had, Carl. I have to ask these questions, you understand? Yeah, sure, Carl, I understand. As long as you understand that I love my family, and you're sitting here questioning me like I'm a suspect, I would never do anything to hurt them. Mommy! Sage. Sage, honey, go to your room. Sage, honey. Mommy and Daddy, just let me know. It's all right. Stay away from my daughter. statement. Whatever you need. We're gonna do everything we can to find them, Andrew.
take a look at the landscaping. If you folks plan on doing any entertaining, uh, this is the backyard that you want. Oh, and the guest house is perfect for a home office or maybe a little gym. Oh, look, honey, it's beautiful. Well, what about the neighborhood? We have a son. He's three. I moved here when my daughter was seven. The schools are fantastic. The traffic's minimal. The air's clean. There's always plenty of stuff for the kids to do. How's your daughter now? 17. And she loves it here. Well, Amy, Michael, there's no reason to rush into anything. We're going to be in the house if you have any questions, okay? Sure. Right, okay. I still remember that scared little girl who came to my office five years ago looking for work. It was a long time ago. Yeah. How about a congratulatory glass of champagne? Or two. Okay. Rain check? I gotta pick up Rachel for more. Always juggling. I'll never know how you do it. Fully. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I remain impressed. Call you later. suffering. Who's the guy? Uh, just a friend. He works at the snack bar. Does just a friend have a name? Parker. I don't even really know him. We just started working here. Mm -hmm. But you like him? Maybe. He did ask me to go to the movies on Friday. Can I go? Please. Even if I were to say yes. And that's an if. We have dinner with Brett on Friday. But he's really looking forward to it. So can I go on another night? Give me a name and a social security number and we can talk. Paranoid much? Yeah, well, you'll learn as you get older. There's a lot of bad guys out there. The city's making cuts everywhere. And with your disciplinary problems, you're first on the list. I'm losing my house. I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do. So how long does it take to get rid of them? It depends. What? Last try they are. Then we gotta look at the access point, shut them out. Probably using the trees to get in your room. All right, well, listen, just do whatever you have to. Just get rid of them, okay? Let's go set the traps now. All right. Hey, I uh, <coughs> found this deep in the attic. Thought maybe you might want it. Might still be alive. Why don't you go to the police? Well, there must be some reason that she did this. I don't want to call the cops until I find out what it is. Look, for the past ten years, I thought they were dead. Now I find out they might be alive. I haven't had a relationship with Sage since he was seven years old. 
You still done? I went back to my life. Have you tried reaching out to your wife's family? My parents died in a car accident. Look, can you help me find my wife and daughter or not? Well, it's not uncommon for identity thieves to take the identity of someone deceased, similar age, appearance. She has a list of social security numbers here, so she's still alive. She's probably using one of them. Do whatever you have to. Find them. Look forward to hearing from you. Hmm. What are you hiding from, Stephanie? Hey, I'm hoping you can help me. I'm looking for a Lillian Floyd. Kathleen Fogarty. Sloan. I have some good news about your wife. Where is she? Well, that's good news. Yeah? No, thank you very much. You let me know as soon as you can confirm that. Thank you, Mr. Sloan. taking you tonight. Bless the knees. Ooh, is he stepping up his game? I don't know. He just said he wanted to have dinner with Rachel and I on Friday. Mm -hmm. Although she's trying to get out of it. Apparently there's a boy. Oh, God, I remember that face. Just get ready to be 40 with an empty house because they all abandon you. <laughs> Tell me about it. What happened to the little girl that used to go through my closet and play dress up? So what do you think he was? I don't know. Oh, come on. You know that's a lie. He didn't say. What you suspect? Maybe. Another lie. <laughs> I've been fine on my own. It's been a long time since I've shared my life with someone. Well, I think it's about time, young lady. And Rachel? She's fine with it. She barely remembers Andrew. Okay, game face. <sighs> game face. Hi. I'm here for the open house. If you're married, your wife would be delighted to entertain in this room. Oh, yeah. I can see the guest list already. <laughs> Do you live in the area? Well, my wife is from Hemet. I'm Los Angeles, born and raised. What brings you out here? Taking a sabbatical from the university to write my book. Be someplace a little more relaxed, a little quieter. And my wife wants to be closer to her family. Hey, uh, do you mind if I take a couple of photos for her? Of course. Well, you've come to the right place. Palm Springs is quiet, peaceful, and a tremendous amount of art and culture. Oh, is that so? Mm -hmm. I should mention that we have a newly renovated art museum. If you'd like, I could arrange a tour. My boyfriend, Brad, is the assistant director. Well, that's a coincidence, because my book is about Southwest influence in art. You're kidding. Wow. Well, he'd be happy to show you around it. He loves sharing his knowledge. 
Well, I really appreciate that because I need all the information I can get. Well, thanks for taking the time. That's a beautiful house. Well, good luck with the move. If there's anything else I could do, just let me know. Uh, yeah, there is. Uh, your boyfriend's card. Excuse me? Oh, for my book. Oh, uh, you know what? I think I have one in the car. Hold on. Here you go. She goes by the name of Alexandra Cole. Sage's name has been changed to Rachel. She owns her own home, made some uh, some wise investments, has a pretty healthy bank account. Who's the guy? Oh, uh, Brett Collins, assistant director of the local art museum. They've been going on for about two years. Seems pretty serious. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Rachel. Tell me about her. Rachel is a tour guide at the Palm Springs Tramway. Straight-A student. According to her Facebook page, wants to work with animals. She always loved the outdoors. She just... Even when she was a little kid, every Sunday I had to take her out into the woods. She wanted to catch bugs. Bitch! Took her from me. Let me remind you that once our business is concluded, confidentiality only remains intact, subject to no laws being broken by the use of the information I provide. I know about the insurance money. Hey, I never saw a dime of that money. I didn't even send in the claim form. Well, someone did. Who? I mean, who would even know the... Who? She stole my identity and she filed the insurance claim. A quarter of a million dollars. That's a hell of a lot of seed money to start a new life, wouldn't you say? Yeah. I think we should go to the police. With the evidence we have, they would bring her right in. I mean, the fact that she took the insurance money alone is fraud. Police? Yeah. If there's anything else... Would make you look complicit. I need a drink. Well, if we go to the police, they're going to want to question everybody that you work with on this, right? Oh, uh, yeah, but that would just be me since we're a one man operation. Paramedics at the station for this one worked pretty good. This is fun. Well, let's see what you got for me here, huh? that he would prepare us a wonderful dessert in celebration. Oh, 
Honey, the last two years have been absolutely amazing for me. I know this is a long time coming. I know you've been very patient. I just... I just want everything to be right. Yes, of course. <laughs> and Rachel, I, I love you, bless you. Oh, are you kidding? Of course. Now when mom says no, I can talk to you and just say yes. I love you, baby. I love you, too. Okay, let's have a talk. Cheers. To new beginnings. To new beginnings. Thanks for dinner, Brett. I'm gonna start on my homework. You really think she's okay with it? Are you kidding? She loves you. I'm good. Because I am crazy about her mother. <laughs> Let's go have another glass of wine. Let's. Engagement ring already? 
Okay, okay, fine. Where? Where is it? So where am I looking? Yes, I got it. It was right where you said it was. I'm really glad you guys are getting married. Yeah, Brett's such a great guy. Couldn't ask for a better stepfather. Is that all you needed? Hello? No, hold on one second. I think I heard something. Hello? That's strange. open a little, but, I don't know, maybe the wind blew up in or something. So when are you coming home? Come on, it's just the movies. It's not even, like, a real date or anything. And you're only 17. Yes, exactly. I'm 17 and I don't even have my own car. You have to start letting me have some freedom. I said I could go. I said maybe. But Brett's here, so I'll be in my room. A minute. Hi. Sorry to bother you. I'm from the front. You have a delivery. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Sarah. Sarah. I'm Jake. Hi. Why don't you come inside and have a drink with me, pretty girl? Oh, I really shouldn't. I need to be getting back. Okay. But I do have a break in an hour, if that's okay. See you in an hour. Sarah. And you were saying on the phone that you found this in your grandmother's attic? Yeah. She was uh, quite the collector. Traveled a lot. Ported on order. Right. Well, it's a very nice piece. But uh, I can say with a fair degree of certainty that it's of no historical significance, please. How can you tell? Well, primarily because it's been artificially aged. Now, that's not some white fraud on anybody's part. It's a technique commonly used by contemporary clay artists. They use a mixture of brown, shoe polish, wax, and then they just rub it in with some minerals you can see right here. Mm -hmm. I'd say this particular piece is no more than five years old. Too bad. I, mean, I really wanted her to be able to leave her legacy here at this museum. She, she loved this place. It was certainly a wonderful touch. Most people find something like this one listed on eBay and <laughs> make a fortune. <laughs> eBay. So your grandmother from around here? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. She, uh, she lived over on Compadre. It's by the high school. Beautiful golf course. Right, yeah, by the golf course. Your son? Ellie. But I was thinking maybe I could move here. I love it here. Well, if you're serious about buying, I mean, I'd be recommending real estate agent. You know what? Well, yeah. Full disclosure, she is my fiance, but if you're entertained, I'd love to give you a business card. Yeah, perhaps that would be great. Follow me. Go by my office. You're right behind you. idea for the tramway in 1935, it wouldn't be until 1961 that construction would begin on what would become known as the eighth wonder of the world. Helicopters flew 23,000 missions over 26 months of construction to complete five towers and mountain station, and since its opening in 1963, over 12 million people have ridden this tramway. It's a lot. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Let's go. Established by an act of Congress on October 24, 2000. It encompasses 272,000 acres and has a rich history of its own. For example, uh, have any of you ever heard of the Los Salish Mine at the Mountain Summit? 
Well, after spending over $31 million to date, the investor uh, ran back to Canada broke because it kind of ended up a bust. The mine is still there, on the, uh, up on the mountain, and it's sort of a sore reminder of one of the area's more colorful moments. All right, so that concludes our tour today, but feel free to grab some food or take a look around. Have a good one. I did. It was fascinating. Is that all true? The helicopters, the lost mines? Yeah, uh, sure. If um, if you want to read more about it, you can get a book in the gift shop. Great. Buy one for my daughter. She loves history. She's about your age. What are you, 17? Yeah. Then I'd, I'd recommend the one by Watson. Watson? Got it. You, you look familiar. Have you taken the tour before? No. No, this is my first time. Oh, okay. I just have one of those faces. It must be. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you what. I'll buy your tea. If you give me five minutes, just... Sit down somewhere. Just tell me some story about this place. It's fascinating. Sure, yeah, I can do that. Great. Yeah. Okay, I'll be right there. This one's on me. So, the only thing I can think is my boss cannot find out because... Because you snuck your friend on a tram. I snuck her on the tram, and then she's giving the tour better than I am, so I'm going to lose my job. <laughs> that would be horrible. This is so beautiful here. Were you born here? No, but I feel like I've been here forever. My mom and I moved here when I was seven. Just you and your mom? What would happen to your dad? I never knew my real father. I had a stepdad, but he died before we moved, so I barely remember. He died. Sorry, I'm sorry. It's okay. Do you have the time by any chance? Yeah. Oh yeah, I gotta get going. It's weird that the watch seems really familiar. Um, thank you for the tea. It was nice chatting with you, Jake. Bye. Rachel. I bet your dad's watching you right now. He's really proud. I bet he misses you every day. Bring your daughter next time. Okay. Take care. What are you wearing? Go change. Mom! Go! I'll get the door. Be nice to him. Hi. Hi, you must be Parker. Yeah, uh, yeah. Is Rachel home? Yeah. Seems to be the new boyfriend, huh? Uh, friend, actually. Uh, yeah, I'm Parker. Uh, Brett, right? Uh, Mr. Collins will be fine. Don't worry, Rachel. Okay. Mr. Collins. So tell me, where are you headed tonight? Uh, movies. Is that right? Yes, sir. Guys, stop it. You're embarrassing. I will. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. Drive carefully. I will. I remember those days. Yeah? Yes, you call it. Okay, easy. <laughs> you can have back by 10.30, you watch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She needs help finding a house. Uh, honey, Jake doesn't. Oh. You must be Alexander. Honey, you okay? I'm fine. Hey, lucky man, Dr. Collins. Ah, oh, please, it's, uh, it's Brett. Come here, Brett. Excuse me one second. Uh, that's a greenskeeper found a broken window at the museum. I need to make a call two seconds. Please, take this time to tell him about the Presley house. He would love that. Don't mind if I do. Thank you. Oh, this is nice. You're civilized. 
two adults just sitting, chatting. Congratulations on your engagement, by the way. Does he know that you're still married? What do you want? I want the 10 years of my life that you took from me. The 10 years that I spent mourning the loss of my family. That's what I want. I want Sage to know who a real father is. Oh, I'm sorry. I should say Rachel, right? You can't do this. No. You know what? I don't think cops like it when you waste their time looking for someone who isn't dead. I don't think that they like that you assumed the identity of someone who's deceased. And I know the IRS doesn't like you paying taxes under a fraudulent name. They also don't care for husbands who beat their wives. I will tell them everything. That you terrorized us. That we feared for our lives. That we had to disappear. It's so dramatic. again looking forward to it thank you and uh thank you so much for taking time to listen to my story enjoy your meal take care okay. oh, he seems like such a nice guy it's a shame about his family hey this is rachel that used to nest up in our attic? Well, they came back. So I hired a guy to go up there and get them. Guess what? He finds your little box. Not too difficult after that. And by the way, the insurance policy. I have to say that that was a particularly nice touch. I don't have to remind you. You have a lot more to lose than I do. Is that what you're going to do? Turn me in? Why are you talking to me like this? Like I'm a stranger. I'm your husband. Ex-husband. So death do us part, right? I am not that frightened girl anymore. I've changed. I'm a different woman now, and I'm not going back. I realize that. So what do you want, huh? What's it going to take to leave Rachel and I alone? Sage! Her name is Sage. How about the $250,000 that you stole from me? What? Call it whatever you like. Call it compensation for losing my family for the past 10 years. Maybe it's my retirement. Andrew, I... I... Listen, if I can't have my wife, then I want the money. 
What? If you think I just have it sitting around in a bank account? It's gone. I used it. I don't care. I don't care where it is, and I don't care how you get it. But if you don't, then I'm going to start talking. I'm going to talk to the cops. I'm going to talk to the IRS. I'm going to talk to your beloved Brett. Won't that be so horrible? It's going to take some time to get it together. Yeah, I understand. I'll give you a couple of days. Andrew, I need I'll see you in 48 hours. By the way, you really had a beautiful funeral. Got you the nicest plot in the cemetery right under a western headline. I remember how much you loved that one we had in the backyard. So I thought you'd like it. You can't do this on your own. Just take it. Where are you going to get the money from? I'll figure it out. You just couldn't just leave well enough alone, huh, Stephanie?
What? Sorry, did I scare you? No, no, he just startled me. The door was open. You must be Lip. Um. The sign outside. That's your name on it. By the way, that picture doesn't do you justice. You're beautiful. Thank you. I'm Tyler Castell. Well, hello, Mr. Castell. You're lucky number one. Yeah, let's come to these things early so you can get the good food. May I? Yeah, of course. Did you bake these? You work a few open houses in your day, you learn to bake some cookies. Hmm. Can't argue with delicious. Are you waiting for someone to join you? Wife? Girlfriend? I'm single, actually. Well, divorced. It was a few years back. I just haven't found anybody worthwhile. Yeah. Shall we? Yeah. I'll get the door. Yeah. The envelope that Alex gave you, where is it? Listen, you're going to give me that envelope. How painful that is and what happens afterwards is up to you. Do you understand? Where is the envelope? homework I need to get to, so... I can't wait. Sit. Okay. What's up? <sighs> Please understand that what I'm about to tell you, I did for us. For our safety. Okay, what are you talking about, Mom? You're kind of freaking me out. <laughs> uh, your stepfather is alive. lose control. And I knew it was only a matter of time before he would hurt you too. And 
no matter what, I could not let that happen. So I changed their names and we moved here. I'm sorry, honey, I had to lie. I, I told you he was dead to make it easier. That's why you changed our names. It had nothing to do with him stepping bankruptcy. I was trying to protect you. Why now? After all this time, why are you telling me this? I'm telling you this because... He's the man that drove you home today. I know, this sounds crazy, Rachel, but I... I wish it wasn't true, none of it. But it is, you have to trust me. Trust you? Trust you after you lied about him being dead? He beat me. Rachel, the night we left, I could tell it was just a matter of time before he would hurt you too. He was my only father. You took him away from me. Rachel, please. So our whole life has been fake. No, just our names. That's it. The rest is real. The rest matters. Rachel. 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 Rachel, we need to finish this. Rachel, stay please. Rachel, leave me alone. But I was so desperate to leave that part of my life behind me. Wow. I know. You could have been able to find the police. No. What do you mean, no? I'm afraid if we bring the police into it, he might hurt Lynn. What do you propose we do? Just wait? It's my fault. I involved her. It's me he wants. Maybe. It's not your fault. No, this is my mess. I can't ask you. It's not your mess. It's our mess. Okay. But I'll see what happens to me. We're in this together. Okay. I'm going to go to the bank. I'll cash it out. Deposit it into your carrots. It's not a problem. Have you stolen her from Rachel? I believe mom said she left this morning. She hasn't returned any of my calls.
go. Good boy. I've been to her work. I've been to her friend's houses. No one's seen her. Listen, honey, I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. I'm sure she's going to turn up. And what about this new kid, Parker? He's been at work all day. He's been at Baby, I'm really thinking we should have called the cops. I'm on my way to the bank now to withdraw the money. This will all be over soon. Okay. I'll be home in 20 minutes. All right. I'll see you back here in a bit. See you then. Okay, bye, baby. How's it feel to sleep with another man's wife? I just want to know. How's it feel to sleep in another man's bed? <laughs> Calm down, buddy. Tell me how it feels. She's okay. She's out with Brett. They wanted to give us a little time alone to talk. We know how difficult this must be. Um, everything's happening so fast over the past few days. But we want you to understand that things are going to be different now. Look at you. You're so beautiful. I thought you were dead. And you're standing in front of me and you're this grown-up woman. I thought about this for 10 years. The other day, why didn't you say anything? I, I didn't know what to say. I didn't know how you would process all of this. I'm sorry, I don't... No, it's okay. I'm sorry. I just want to make you happy. When this is all over, I'm going to tell you the truth about everything. I'm going to tell you everything. But what's important right now is your dad's back. I'm going to start over. I'm getting some money, and I'm going to start my life over. And I want you to be with me. What happened to your eye? Oh, yeah, I just fell. What was that? Oh, my God. Sage, Sage. Sage, wait, wait. Are you okay? Did you do this? Oh, my God. Mom was right about you. No, no, don't say that. It's Brett. He's trying to take you away from me, and I'm not going to let him. I'm your father. Sage, I love you. I can hurt you. Okay, I'm never gonna hurt you. Where's Rachel? I just told you, she's right here and she's fine. You're running out of time. If you don't bring me that money, that's soon. I kill Brett, I kill Lynn, I take stage and I disappear forever, just like you did. But trust me, you will never find her again. No, I, I have it. Please, don't hurt them. Just do what I tell you and everything's going to be fine. I'm going to text coordinates to your cell phone. The mine's located at the top of the mountain. Lynn and I have a nice hike up here. But I suggest you take the tram because it's faster. If you've done anything to them. You have an hour. And Stephanie. This party's invite only. Come along.
If I take this off, promise me you're not gonna scream, okay? I don't wanna have to chloroform you again, okay? Good. Hi, sweetie. Are you going to kill us? No. No, Sage, I would never hurt you. Look at me. I'm doing this for you. I'm doing this for us so we can be together again. I would never hurt you. What about Brett? Brett knows too much. I can't let him go, right? He's gonna tell. You're crazy. Don't talk to your father that way. I'm not crazy. Your mother's crazy. She caused this. She hurt me, Stacey. She took you away from me. Ten years. Listen to me. I promise you're gonna understand. Everything's gonna be okay. You're gonna understand. I did the right thing. You'll see. time. It's good. Where are they? Is that the money? Yes. Good. See? We can be civilized. Follow me. You didn't seem to think that the past 10 years. Keep your money, all right, and leave us alone. You really think this is about the money? I want my family back. I want my daughter back.